there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. The entire army of the planet Zot was flying to Earth to bring Underdog back. But Underdog was ready, and taking off, met the invading army halfway. And there, in the cold and the dark of outer space, a mighty battle took place. The dog, <laughs> mashed potatoes, <laughs> round the world. And as usual, the speed and strength of Underdog was too much for his enemies, and the whole army fled back to the planet Zop. A whole army, and yet didn't bring him back? <laughs> I'm surrounded by incompetence. my little popsicle. I will get your husband for you. Goggle! Goggle! Where's my prime minister? Here, sire! Goggle, you are the smartest man on the planet. Except for me. I want you to figure a way to get this dog of an underdog. Uh, let me think, sire. Um... Um... Hmm... Ah! I have it. Underdog has one weakness. A certain young lady named Sweet Polly Purebred. Now, if we could capture Sweet Polly... Brilliant. We get Sweet Polly in our power, and Underdog will have to do what we say or sight. That will be the end of Sweet Polly. See that it is done. And so, late that night, a lone saucer hovered over the house of Sweet Polly, and... And the next morning, Shoeshine, unaware that Sweet Polly had been carried away, was busily going about his humble task when... Oh, wouch, ee! Oh, but look, there's a note attached. I have captured Sweet Polly, ha, 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 signed King Clobber of Zot. Uh, excuse me, sir, I'll finish the other shoe tomorrow. And slipping around the corner to a telephone booth, humble, lovable Shoeshine became... Underdog. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow, so it's hip, 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 and away I go. Meanwhile, on the planet Zot, King Clobber had sweet Polly helplessly tied directly under the great Zot, a ten-ton weight hung from a thin cord. There's no need for fear. Underdog is here. Underdog! Underdog! Halt! You have a choice. Either marry my daughter and live here on Zot, or I will drop the great Zot on Sweet Polly's head. What 
is your choice. What will Underdog's choice be? Will he choose to marry the princess, or will he choose to let the great sock fall on sweet Polly's head? The answer lies ahead in our next episode. Go, go, gophers, watch them go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear, fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them go, go, go. Here comes the Colonel with his sergeant, both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch them go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them go, go, go. Want me to arrange for you to talk with Ruffled Feather and Running Board? Exactly, Sergeant. Because I have finally found a way to get rid of them. Just read the headline of this newspaper article. Oh, it says, Cleveland welcomes Indians. You see? Cleveland welcomes Indians. So all I have to do is talk the Gopher Indians into going to Cleveland, where they will be welcome. And we'll be rid of them. Uh, but beg on the Colonel's pardon, this article is from the sports section. The Cleveland Indians are baseball players. I don't care what they play, just so long as Cleveland likes them. Now arrange that talk, Sergeant. And so the Colonel met with the Gophers and told them of the beauty of Cleveland and how they would be welcome. <laughs> and they agreed to go with them and see if they liked the city. <laughs> But you have to go to a hotel. You can't put up camp in the middle of Main Street. You say Cleveland like us. Well, we like this spot. Hard, dry ground. We camp here. All right, you wise guys. You're all under arrest. Now, just a moment, officer. I happen to be an officer in the United States Cavalry. And I happen to be an officer of the Cleveland Police Department, and you're all under arrest for disturbing the peace and blocking traffic. <laughs> You feather brains, you struck an officer of the law. Get out of here. Uh, what did he say? Him say run for it. Uh, uh, a narrow escape, but luck is with us. This is the stadium for the Cleveland Indians. You're sure to be welcome here. Come along. Attention, everyone. You will be happy to know that I, Colonel Kit Coyote, have brought you some fellow Indians. What did he say? Him say these not real Indians wear no feathers. You fakes. Uh, what kind of characters are you? Get them, boy. They'll be locked up. <laughs> Uh, things are... things are not going right at all. I must get you to a hotel. What this place? This? Oh, it's a nightclub where people come to dance. Mm. Yeah. Wait, stop! Stop! Hey, twisting look like a pretzel! sleeping. We go see more of city. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> what is it? Uh, what happened? Who are you? I, sir, am the mayor of this city, and I have just been in touch with your commanding officer in Washington. What? I am to inform you that you will either have these gopher Indians out of Cleveland in one hour, or you will be drummed out of the army forever. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but, 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 but nice. Uh, what did he say? What did he say? We like Cleveland. What colonel do for us if we go back gopher gulch? Anything. Anything at all. Time now, give Ruffled Feather bath, servant. 
Then fix lunch, wash clothes, sweep teepee, hoe garden, plant corn. Well, looks like the Colonel's got a peck of trouble. Y'all better be with us for our next adventure. the time I escaped from 10,000 screaming tribesmen at that very spot? No, but I... I was leading a small detachment of men up through the mountains in search of the rebel chieftain Alibi. When... Ambush! Quickly, we sought shelter among the rocks and for a while kept them at bay with our cannon. But a lucky shot put ours out of commission. And soon I was the only one left. Cannon to the right of me, cannon to the left of me, cannon in front of me. I was a hundred miles from my regiment. Then my ammunition gave out. And at that very moment, the 10,000 screaming tribesmen stormed into the pass. What did you do? Summoning my superhuman strength, I picked up the disabled cannon and using it like a rifle fired point blank into the advancing enemy. Did it stop them? Never found out, don't you know. The recoil from that mighty cannon acted like a rocket. And I shot over the mountains and dropped right in on the barracks. Just in time for tea. How refreshing. Quite. The great Zot, a huge ten-ton weight, hung by a thread over Sweet Polly's head, and Underdog had a difficult choice. Well, what will it be? If you do not marry my daughter, I will cut this thread, and Zot, Sweet Polly, will be... I have no choice, it's plain to see. I'll marry Glissando. Set Polly free! And true to his kingly word, King Clover freed Sweet Polly and sent her back to Earth, where she soon broadcast on television. And... And so, dear friends, Underdog is to stay on the planet Zot forever and marry the Princess Glissando. No more will we be able to call on him for help. No more will we see him speeding around the world, performing his heroic deeds. <laughs> At that very moment on the planet Zot, a million, million miles away, let the wedding begin. I now pronounce you... The Dragon! me of my <laughs> Yes, it was the terrible two-headed dragon, legendary enemy of the people of Zot. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. never met anything quite as ferocious as the two-headed dragon of Zot. I'm waving! Uh, Ralph. We're, We're a, a team! team. Wanna, Wanna fight? fight? <laughs> come on! Come on! Teamwork! Teamwork! That's, that's what comes! <laughs> I'll teach you, uh... Teamwork, teamwork, that's what counts! <laughs> hmm, take 
take that and that. What do you know? A toughie. One, two, three, four. Teamwork, that's what counts. <laughs> hey, Clyde, we're walking, but we're not going. I've had enough from both of you, so here's what I intend to do. <laughs> enough? Enough. Let's cut out. No, oh, no, you don't. Up. Up. We'll, we'll be, be good. good. And so the dragon will never bother you again. You have saved us, Underdog. And help me find my own true love. Right under my nose all the time. Babykin. My He-Mans. And so, Underdog, you can have anything you wish. What I wish, I'll quickly say. I wish to leave that without delay. So be it. And so, Underdog sped back to Earth and once again took up his job as Hero of Heroes. Look! In the sky! It's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane or bird or even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. Underdog.